The Supreme Court has put Uttar Pradesh government order on Kavad Yatra on hold. The Supreme Court has put an interim stay on the UP as well as Uttarakhand government uh, dict act asking shops to display uh, the owner names. Notices now have been issued to Uttar Pradesh as well as Uttarakhand government and they've been asked to reply by July 26. Well, uh, the Supreme Court has also said that the police cannot compel the owners to display the names and the shop owners shouldn't be forced to display their names. Shops must only display whether the food is vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Well, my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhuna joins us on the broadcast getting us more details. Well, uh, Sunil, this definitely comes as a setback uh, to the UP government as well as the Uttarakhand government uh, over the diktat uh, that was ordered by the specific state governments on uh, the Kavad Yatra. That's right. Uh, this is after, of course, uh, petitioners uh, making a uh, very, very strong point uh, to the Supreme Court uh, bench headed by Justice Hirikesh as well as Justice Bhatti uh, to say that uh, this infringes on the personal rights against uh, the Constitution uh, and uh, this has uh, religious uh, overtones. The fact that you are trying to exclude people by identity in terms of religion uh, is something that has uh, far-reaching consequences and have uh, you know, a, a huge impact across the, uh, the country uh, because if every state starts doing this, then it will have uh, wide-ranging implications. And it's in that context, uh, after the Supreme Court kept asking who is appearing for the Uttar Pradesh government and there was no lawyer ready to come out uh, and stand up for it, uh, that it uh, decided to pass an interim order, issued notices to all the states concerned uh, and will then uh, take a final matter uh, decision on this when it hears this matter on the 26th, uh, that is uh, the coming Friday, uh, to uh, decide on this matter. But interim, uh, no eateries can be uh, forced, uh, even though they say, you know, the uh, Muzaffar Nagar police have said uh, that it's voluntary. Uh, subsequently, uh, uh, as Mr. Singhvi pointed out, this is a camouflage order. Uh, it is in that context uh, that the, uh, that the uh, uh, Supreme Court says uh, that such kind of orders along the route of the Kavarias is uh, definitely not uh, acceptable uh, okay. and uh, has uh, stayed that decision and nobody can be forced to do so. All right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Sunil, for getting us all those details there. Well, the matter is going to be heard on July 26th. Next, uh, this is an interim stay on the order by the UP government on the... Uh, uh, on uh, asking uh, the eateries along the Kavar Yatra route to display the owner's name. Now, the court has said that the uh, that providing only vegetarian food to the devotees is the objective here. So, uh, uh, the uh, shops must only display whether the food is vegetarian or non-vegetarian and the police, no authority can compel the shop owners to display their names. Let's listen into reactions that have come in after this uh, court order. We'll also have uh, guests joining us on the broadcast, Mr. Gansham Tiwari of the Samajwadi Party and uh, political analyst uh, Desh Ratan Nigam will also be joining us in just a bit. We have, I have always been saying that this order, that this directive actually, which was issued by the police of Uttar Pradesh, is unconstitutional. It promotes untouchability, which is a violation of Article 17. It discriminates only the Muslims, which is a violation of Article 15. It, it snatches a livelihood, which is a violation of Article 19. And what is this that you are, you are promoting only one religion, one ideology? ये विभाजनकारी है समाज में संविधान की मंशा के खिलाफ है रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन के खिलाफ है ये समाज में विभाजन पैदा करेगा सिर्फ धर्म के आधार पे नहीं जात के आधार पे ये सिजुल कास्ट को बैकवर्ड को वीकर सेक्शन को उनको मौका नहीं देगा कि वो अपना व्यापार कर सकें जिनको जो खाना है ये उन पर छोड़ देना चाहिए वो स्वेच्छा से खाएं पिए कहां से लें क्या करें ये उनकी इच्छा होना चाहिए किसी सरकार की नहीं मैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट के इस निर्णय का अंतरिम आदेश का स्वागत करता हूँ मैं सभी शिव भक्तों को शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ अभिनंदन देता हूँ आज श्रावण मास के पहला हमारा सोमवार भी है उसकी भी शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ और सभी का हम देवभूमि उत्तराखंड हरिद्वार आगमन पर सबका अभिनंदन करते हैं सबकी यात्रा अच्छी हो सफल हो और उसके लिए उत्तराखंड सरकार ने हमारे सभी प्रकार की व्यवस्थाओं को करने का प्रयास किया है कि आपकी यात्रा अच्छी हो मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि आपकी यात्रा अच्छी होगी सफल होगी भगवान की कृपा आप पर बनेगी 
All right, I'm also being joined by Tanishk, my colleague who's uh, with us on the broadcast here, getting us more on the political development, the activity that has taken place in the recent days over this order issued by the UP government and then the Uttarakhand government as well. Tanishk, we've seen how uh, politics had erupted over this issue, not just the opposition asking uh, the UP government to roll back the order. It was the BJP allies also, including the RLD, uh, well, Chirag Paswan's party, as well as the JDU coming forward and asking uh, the UP government, its ally, BJP, to take back the order. Yes, of course, uh, you know, very rightly said by you, it was just not the opposition that was hitting out at the BJP, at the UP government for this particular order, but also the BJP allies of the neighbouring state as well, that is Bihar, where uh, Chirak Paswan and the JDU also, uh, you know, hit out, hit out at the UP government, and also the allies of the UP, that is the RLD, which have a very strong influence over the Western UP uh, over the western Uttar Pradesh and especially in Muzaffar Nagar, mm. uh, RLD has a very strong influence. Jayan Chaudhary, uh, Jayan Chaudhary's party has a strong influence in uh, in Muzaffar Nagar. So, of course, uh, not just the opposition, uh, it, it was not just the opposition that hit out at the BJP, but also the allies demanded a rollback of this. Now, the Supreme Court has, of course, uh, Put a stay on this order. Uh, put a stay on this order, and said that uh, you know uh, nobody can force to put anyone's name now on the eateries along the Kavad Yatra route. And the next hearing is of course on 26th of uh, July. But as of now, we are yet to get a response from the from the government side. What they think about it? What they say about the stay on this particular right, uh, so order? But there. yes, Tanishka, the I'll politics come back to you later. Let me go across to Mr. Gansham yes. Tiwari. I'll come back to you, Tanish later. Let me go across to Mr. Gansham Tiwari here of the Samajwadi Party, as well as uh, Mr. Deshratan Nigam uh, joins us on the broadcast as well. Uh, Mr. Gansham Tiwari, if I could come to you first. Uh, well, the Samajwadi Party, we do understand, had already raised objections to the UP government order, uh, asking the eatery owners to display their names on the Kavar Yatra route. And now the Supreme Court, this is an interim stay, of course. The order of the UP government has been paused for a brief while on July 26. We do understand the hearing will take place. How do you see it now? Good afternoon to you, my fellow co-panelists and the viewers. There are three important things. One is that everyone in the country with a sane mind, with a, a mission of life, which, which is uh, on harmony believes that this order of the supreme court is constitutional and is does justice to the unjust diabolical policy brought out by the up government and then later followed by uttarakhand government that's point number one point number two the attachment that bjp has towards any agenda of hate is visible in this one district comes up with a bizarre uh, policy the entire state chooses to adopt it. The entire media that uh, that though that section of media that harps on BJP's line and propaganda starts debating on it. The nation is suddenly distracted from important issues of infrastructure failures, of exam paper leaks, of several other things. Our uh, brave soldiers uh, fighting it out in Kashmir. The nation is distracted from that agenda. And Hindu this is what BJP wants. Any agenda of hate that emerges from one district becomes a national agenda. And third, the cowardice of Bharati Janta Party government that if you cannot put a lawyer in Supreme Court, you cannot even defend what you want to say shows that you are there only for empty propaganda. You do not have the courage or conviction on your own ideals. Okay. All right. Mr. Deshna Ratanigam, uh, uh, what's your view? What's your opinion uh, on uh, the recent government order? The top court has clearly said that only providing vegetarian Food is uh, uh, the objective here to the devotees. And the shops must only display whether the food is vegetarian or non-vegetarian, not the name of the owner. Uh, and, you know, seeing this uh, order also in the backdrop of the fact that uh, not just the opposition, but the BJP allies also had raised an objection uh, to the UP government order, asking it to roll it back. How do we see the court order now? Uh, Miss Kitty, let me make it very clear that police do not have the authority to issue such kind of an order. Absolutely. And, it, and, and uh, this order did not have any statutory backing. However, the appropriate authority under the FSS AI Act and the Street Vendors Act have the powers to issue such directions. Therefore, the argument in the court was that the police's order does not have any statutory backing. So if a fresh order comes, 
uh, under those two acts i have talked about and also under the freedom of professing religion and given under the constitution and the consumer protection act this would be a then a valid and constitutional order i believe the up government must withdraw this police order because it does not have a statutory backing the statutory backing will come if the order is issued by the appropriate authority under the acts that i have mentioned and therefore it is very very important to who issues the order therefore supreme court looked into the matter that police does not have the power otherwise the state government under the acts have the power if the appropriate authority issues it withdraws this order issues a fresh order then it will be a valid and constitutional order the directive the right, yes the 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 uh, right to information as to uh, uh, what i am eating is also a part of right to profess my religion i require a satvic food vaishno food which is offered to god before eating these are the requirements of the vegetarian satvic food and it is my aastha or my you know faith uh, and my feeling that should not be heard i am not discriminating but i have a right to know where i am going because this is for well, absolutely do you period. not think the supreme court when it says that the, whether the food is vegetarian or non vegetarian that is uh, the only thing that must be displayed uh, in front of the shops is that not enough why did we no, why no, did no. the government really have to say uh, you know pass this directive saying that uh, the names of the owners must also be displayed that is this, the bone of contention here see, this is by the police commissioner he doesn't have the power to do it and the scope of ssai act and the street vendors act was not even there before the court to argue upon nobody has even given these arguments the state did not appear they would have brought out these things probably they probably after the supreme court's direction they will apply their mind and think afresh on this subject because how the food is prepared is also my aastha it hmm. should not be halal it should not be halal food that i am consuming on my dharmic yatra or kavad yatra it's very important therefore the food which even a muslim prepares even if he prepares in a vegetarian form does he offer to a god before uh, hindu gods before offering it to the people all this is my faith my aastha which the constitution permits me under the profession professing my okay. religion so okay. it's very very important because my feelings my aastha my faith is also important i am not discriminating anybody even well that is what the informed... court has also clearly said there should be no well, discrimination that is what the is opposition not, parties have also been raising that no, there shouldn't be any sort of discrimination here mr mr no, dev is... let me let me let okay, me okay okay please point. complete your point there is no discrimination once a informed choice is there even if after that a person wants to eat wherever he wants to he is free to these are secular orders but it has to be issued by an appropriate authority since the orders were not issued by appropriate authority okay mr deshra coming police. up i won't have much time i'm i'm really sorry to interrupt you there i have to get, uh, get a quick response from mr tiwari or mr tiwari please go ahead what do you have to say kitty it's very clear bjp had no business to distract the country at a time when they are they are uh, creating massive failures in governance from the internal security national security in, in jammu and kashmir to the failing infrastructure to the trains that that face accident okay. to the exam paper leaks to the jobs to uh, all the way the airport uh, crash the the airport uh, leaks everything is visible at this time if the top leadership of bjp backed this order that they could not stand for in the court shows how coward the policy makers in bjp has have become in face of the challenge okay, so that mr tiwari you are saying what you are maintaining here is that uh, the uh, bjp of course i mean did not have any representative the the government of course did not have any representative in the court and it shows their cowardice that is what you are saying but uh, uh, well mr deshratan nigam here says that this is a matter of aastha and you are saying that the matter has been politicized it has been brought in in order to cover up other uh, issues here all right uh, different uh, view points here meanwhile thank you so much mr Mr. Deshratan Nigam and as well as Mr. Tiwari here for joining us on the broadcast. Yeah, thank you so much for your time here. Yeah.